everybody. Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so happy you're here. Today, we got a snark on Alicia. It's been a rough week of lots of snark and people calling me out and just making, hurting my feelings. <laughs> they said I clickbaited. I did not clickbait. I don't clickbait. Okay, way early, way early, I clickbaited one video and I got called out and I should have been called out for it. And I did. And I never clickbaited since. I don't clickbait my shit. Don't do that. I mean, you can you can threaten my life and everything. Just don't tell me I'm clickbaiting. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go through the Doherty Dozen shopping video. It's been a long time since we snarked on one of her shopping hauls. She did delete this one. I don't know why. Maybe she deleted something out of it. Something Somebody said that she uploaded with her voice out of sync. I don't know. Whatever. But it's been a long time and we need a little bit of lush snark. So let's go. Guys, if you've been to this channel for a long time, thank you for watching these videos. I really do mean that. Like, without you, none of this is possible. You are the most important part of this fight. I'm a voice, but you guys are the way it gets carried around, and I really appreciate that. Can't do it without you. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. If you guys have hit the bell, unhit the bell, hit the bell again. Okay, subscribe again, do it all. It helps this, it helps the algorithm. Oh, this guy, they like him. Or leave a negative comment. That also, that also helps. So, do that. Whatever you need to do. I appreciate your help. And also, if you want to support this channel, there's a Ko-Fi link below. You can buy me a coffee or you can head over to my Teespring store, which is if you are on uh, the, the, if you're on the, if you're on a browser, you can see it. And if not, you can just check out the link in my position. There's tons of merch and it, I'm always taking new ideas. If you have any ideas for me, like Nana USOB, the I Love Dad Bod shirt is always the hottest seller. Chachi, there's a lot of great stuff on there. Make sure you head over there and buy yourself some merch because that really helps support me and I appreciate that. And you guys are just, always supporting me anyway. And if you don't want to buy anything or whatever, subscribing and watching the video is good enough. And I really, really do appreciate that. So you guys came for the snark. Let's get to the snark. Let's see what she has to say today. Hi, everyone. Hey. It's Alicia with the Dockerty Dozen. And this is my weekly grocery haul for my family of 14. Coffee. Coffee. Get a new cup. <laughs> Please. That shit is melted plastics in your coffee by now. Like, there's no way that shit. I can't believe that still has lasted this long. Here is our dinner menu for this week. All right, ice cream for dinner. Fish packets. What the hell is a fish packet? Rice, mixed veggies, Taco Bell. Around the world night is Germany. So you're getting bratwurst, Bracter Coughlin, pretzels, and Spargle spaghettis. I don't know what Spargle spaghettis is, but I'm in. I'm in. White chicken chili, Tuscan loaves, make your own pizza, and then leftovers, aka straight donuts. Expanded to add in what we'll have for breakfast and lunch every day to make our grocery list separated up. Meat, bratwurst, ground beef, haddock, hot dogs, ham, chicken breast, white asparagus. Deodorant. White asparagus is not a meat. Is is it? By areas of. Is there such thing as white asparagus? The store. Does it make your piss stink? Or is it like anti-piss stink asparagus? Why does asparagus make your piss stink? Oh, piss update. Story time. So I've been, um, I got out of the, the pulverizing from the hospital. No pain, nothing for a couple days. Peed blood the first day, had a couple of like clots. And I've been peeing into this little cup, the little net in it. And there's just like micro dots of stuff. Not enough for him to check probably. But then I woke last night, three o'clock in the morning. Boom! Boom! Kid it felt like someone literally shanked me in the kidneys. It hurt so bad. So the only way to overcome pain, if you guys, anybody who's had kidney stones understands this. If you can't get ahead of the pain of a kidney stone, you're going to the hospital. You're, they're going to have to give you Dilaudid. And my buddy who's a paramedic, he just said, look, just call the paramedics. They're going to come. They're going to give you the Dilaudid. You don't have to go to the hospital, wait four or five hours. They'll just give you what you need. So I was like, oh, next time I will. But I do have suppositories. Yes suppositories you stick these i call them butt pills and i think they're called the clofenac okay and you stick them up your butt and you have to take two of them they used to be 100 milligrams but now they're 50 so you gotta stick two i don't know if you've ever put a suppository up your butt it's not fun okay it's just not but it works and it works really fast because it's i guess because it dissipates the medicine and it's closer to your kidneys i don't know i'm not a scientist but it works is all i know 20 minutes later fast asleep because the pain was almost unbearable. I got ahead of the pain, but also the pill is like wax or something. 
And it, <laughs> just saying, okay? Just saying, don't fart while you have suppositories up there. Don't fart is all I'm going to say. I'm not going to, I'm not going to continue past that phrase except to say, don't. All right? Okay. We got to do this fast today. Why? It is, I think a little after. I asked, well, you got an hour and 20 minute video. That's not very fast. 6 a.m. 6, 18. You're 18. Hundred years old. Burn. Oh, she's going to her special entrance. Alicia's the entrance. Dang it. Wait. Please use this door. Please use the doorbell for assistance. Someone will help you. Thank you. So today. Why does she go in here? Also, I gotta say this. Wegmans, I've been there like three times. There is no better grocery store. I kid you not. Wegmans is like an adventure. You walk in, you're like, I can't afford to be in here, but I'm in here now. It is amazing. So I get why she goes there. It is a good store. Thank God they don't sponsor her. Kurt one. Look, I got all my bags consolidated. Yeah, well, that's not enough bags. The things I get happy. You're a bag. Paper. Actually added a couple things to the list. Cheese puffs, German snacks, boss sauce, boss sauce, sparkling water. Cart one. Okay, let's it's start. so loud! We don't need, oh, I get a it. better cart! I am, I'm that too. Every time I go to a grocery store or whatever, I always get the card. It's like the wheels. Like, kit, 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 kit. Always. You need paper towels. All right, so last aisle. I'm gonna grab paper towels. I need plates and bowls. I forgot to write those down. Sounds like a diabetes train. Choo choo. Paper shit for the environment. Paper shit for the environment. Time for a song. Just wanted to point this out. I 3D printed this the other day. This little bin, it has my picks in it with a slidey hole. Oops, here. So you just take your pick and you take when you pick and it slides up, right? It's very cool. It took 18 hours to print that. <laughs> You're a fool And you don't want to do dishes Neither do I, but I do anyway Because I don't want to see the world burn down Like you Don't burn the world down, please With your paper plates, yeah No one puts more shit in the landfill, the lush, no, no, no. Lush has her own section at the landfill, and it's full of shit, plastic shit. Stop burning the world down, please, lush. I'm a terrorist Greta Thunberg hates your guts We gotta be scrubbing through this shit, okay? Just gonna get to the good shit All right. Paper towels Jelly and peanut butter. Oh my gosh, have we been going through your jelly? Peanut butter fast. Thanks for picking the shitty cart, thumbs. Oh, here you go. Okay. Oh, there it is. Sorry. One jar jelly. I guarantee you. Oh, okay. She, she absolutely has jelly at home. Two, because we've been going through this fast, too. 
It's always like they go through the bad shit fast. You notice that? We go through these chips real fast, so I better get 30 bags this time. Yeah, because that's all your kids eat! Sugar and shit! I feel like they're turning the music up when they see Alicia come. They, like, turn the music up because it's, like, copyright. Wegmans, if anybody that works there is watching me, do me a favor. If she comes early in the morning and you know she's coming, put on just Disney music. Disney music! She won't be able to put any of the audio in. She will get flagged instantly. Just throw some Disney shits in there. And you know what? If we see the next shopping video and there's Disney music, you know one of the people at Wegmans watches this shit. And I love you. Thundercats! Let's see. Oh, I need a bunch of stuff in the baking aisle. We know you need a bunch of shit. We know. That's all you do. All right, I need. Uh, uh, pumpkin. Is that, okay, it says pure pumpkin. Is that what you put in a pumpkin pie, or do you mix that with sugar and shit like that? Because Weston loves pumpkin pie, but he only eats the filling. And I'm like, why don't I just give him some filling? Is that what's that? Is that what it is? Chocolate chips. One. Making. Get the big one. Chocolate chip bread on Wednesday. Bree helped me make the menu this week. Your chocolate chip bread sucks. Well. I start, I always start with like almost all of the kids and then they phase out. And it was Brie who sat with me the whole time this week. Instagram. It you guys saw so much cooler shit than we do. We have like maybe three kinds of frosting. You have like 88 kinds of frosting in the States. That's the backbone of your nation. It was a pot pie. Wait. I love frosting. Pop tart pie. Yeah. Pe Did she just say pop tart pie? Pop tart pie. Anyways. Ew. Ready? Frosting. Oh, look at it. It's got little unicorns. Shut up. Oh my gosh, Harley will love that. Okay, so you got enough paper plates there? Sprinkles, frosting, oh, pie filling. Every day they must have one massive giant bag of garbage. Every single day or two. There's, there's just no way they don't. No way. They must have so much garbage. It's just, probably in the chicken. What the chickens don't eat, they put out and the squirrels get it. The freaking raccoons. The skunks. Let's see. What kind of Pop-Tarts should we make? Oh, she makes homemade Pop-Tarts. Don't call them that then. Call them toaster strudels or something. What was I making? Oh, That's the loudest bag I've ever heard in my life. All right. All right. Ants in the international aisle. Ants in the There's France. Um, What's German? Sauerkraut? Sausages? Right? Sausages. They have really good sausages. Like Oktoberfest sausages. Oh, yeah, man. Sausages. Who doesn't like a good sausage? Right? Let's see. I'll have to look at the here. and see where it's made. Who gives a shit? Alright, I'm not seeing anything. Can That's getting Whoa! Coffee crisp! Canada. You lucky dogs. What is this made? Germany! Milka Kuflekirchen. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, but it's just chocolate. No way. You get chocolate here. Okay, which flavor That's should I get? That's stupid. You're stupid. We've got berry, hazelnut. No, no, moving on. Oh, I'm making um, the ice cream noodles. We'll so have... you're like, oh, here's a bunch of chocolate you can get normally anywhere, but it's German chocolate. It's the same chocolate. These and the ice cream noodles for dessert. Everybody gets a chocolate bar? Cool. I uh, Like a two-pound chocolate bar? That's awesome. Cause I could not find anything on Amazon. She's getting each person a fucking chocolate. Oh, I can find like a snack box. Or so they're getting dessert and they're getting a full size effing. That's like a that's a family size chocolate bar, everybody. Okay. Unless you're me, then it's like two or three days worth of chocolate. That's a lot of chocolate. They don't need it. Something and I could not. So how many did I just get? Two, four. 
Six. Okay, Chip Soy is not frickin' German. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. No way. It's meant to be. Oh, my God. Meant to be that we all get diabetes together. That just made my day. Nice hair. <laughs> what happened to your hair? All right, we are doing taco bowls this week. I do need salsa, though. Seasoning. How does she not break this shit? She just throws it in there. I'm not seeing it. Like, I see the packets, but I like the big thing of it. Did I walk right past it? You're a big thing of it. I said what I said. What are you can do about it. Maybe it's over in the spice aisle here. Your hair, you fall down the stairs? And then at Walmart, it's with the taco stuff. Why can I not find taco seasoning today? Why don't you just cut this part out? Why do I always have to... F off. Caramelized... You know what? It's caramelized beans. I am just realizing the chocolate. Oh, cannellini beans. And chilies are probably back with the taco stuff, so let's... Purr, purr, purr. Let's go look. Okay, this... All right, let's no. make some nice. need chicken broth... What happened here? ...for a couple... What happened to her video? Oh, this is what she cut out of her video. What happened here? Okay, let's take a look. Okay, she's got this black bar. Something's going on. What is she trying to hide? I hope someone downloaded the original because I want to know what this black bar is hiding because obviously she just didn't want to edit something else, so she just put a black bar over it and rendered it. I want to know. Huh. Uh, Interesting. Chicken broth and applesauce. Your applesauce. Ramen cups. What did she block out? The only thing I could think of is that she blocked out the top because somebody's in the video and they said, I hope you weren't filming or the management reached her and said, hey, look, somebody complained that you're in their video and please take it out. That's all I can think. What did she do? What is that? Gravy? Holy sh... Oh, chicken broth. In a can? Interesting. All right. Okay, it's gone now. What did, What was that all about? Let's forget the coffee. Out of our applesauce cups, I like to pack them. Yeah, apples. They are blasting the music on purpose right now. You know they are. And it's ketchup, yeah, for the sandwiches. Okay, what's boss sauce? Yeah, likes to put boss sauce on everything. A little Schneid Twain for you. Da -da 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 -da. I feel like a woman. This is what is it? Yes, look at boss sauce on everything. Irvathern. What is it? Peanut butter -ish stuff? I did not. Oh my god. Card. That all the chips are getting? Not impressed. Get one with a better wheel! Alright. What should we get next? Sparkling water. And that ends it for this week. store. And then let's move on and get Cartel. dairy bread. You're a dairy bread. And then we'll grab meats. Cart two. Say it. We'll get frozen. Say cart two. Cart two. Thanks. I just realized. We didn't pick what we're going to do for this week's float challenge yet. Oh, better get on that shit. Okay, we're gonna just do toothpaste and orange juice. So, um, I'll have to look through the comments. We always like pick a comment suggestion and go from there. See, she feeds her kids what her strangers leave comments on. That's that's nice. What diabetes should I feed my kids this week? I got one for you. Look at this freeze frame. <laughs> And I'll get that on one of my mini trips. It's like she's straight out of the Flintstones here. Sweet. All right, I am gonna get black cherry. I've been loving the ginger ones this week. Ginger ale. All right, black cherry, ginger. So is okay. I don't. I don't drink a lot of soda, but is sparkling water just like a, f a light flavored water? Is that what it is? That you put booze in? Like vodka? Um, where is the... Basically, that would that's what a 
White Claw would be, right? Like sparkling water with bar vodka in it, right? That's right. You know what? I'll get some peach ones for Nana. Nana he is coming to the kids' baseball game today, but she Nana, you son of a bitch. Not able to come over for lunch because they have to get to Bingo. Brother in law's son's baseball game oh. right after. Bingo. That was bingo. Right, baseball game to baseball game today. The dairy section. Wait, I just saw mango lime, and those are two of my favorite things in the entire world, so. We're also gonna try mango lime. Okay. Now so we get into- That's a lot of sparkling water. water, holy shit. We always have people over, like every day. Okay, I gotta get eggs. The eggs? Don't you buy boxes? She buys boxes of eggs. Where are the boxes? Okay. Let's not get that one. Don't these kids get sick of eating the same disgusting bullshit every day? Do they not get sick of it at all? That's because this stuff is really highly addictive. That's why. I go through these phases of like something I really love and I will overdo it. Like I love yop. It's yop. Okay. It's not yop. And I'll get, I'll find it on sale. And I'll buy like a bunch of it, and then I don't, I won't want it for like a year, right? Or I'm into mandarins right now, like little mandarin oranges. I'll eat like 50 of those, and then I'll just, I'll be sick of them. I always do that, and I have to wait a year. I'm like, oh, I want mandarins again. Does anybody else do that? Like you just, you fall in love with something, and you like, you obsess over it, and then then you just get so sick of it. That's me. We're not even a quarter of the way through this video yet. Where Mama? else is she buying? No. Do I need anything? Oh, I need whipped cream. Get three or four. Yup. Holy shit. Now, what else can we fit in this cart? Lots. It's not even half full. Maybe just do um, the breads. Since we are right over here by the bread section. People always send me pictures of them seeing like Alicia at like the grocery store at Costco. Alicia is not even aware that these people are sending like Alicia sighting and she's walking with her jeans like farting down the aisle. She always wears the jeans too. Okay, so we did not get to make your own pizza night on Friday. The kids had friends over, Josh was working, and I was like, you know what? We are- We're ordering shit. Just gonna order pizza. So we ordered pizza. It's it's easy to make pizza, so just make it. You bought the shit for it, instead you ordered it. Awesome. Um, so I'm gonna take the pizza for right out of our breakfast sauces. What? Like they don't like this. You heat up in the microwave, that shit goes to the chickens. Don't lie. It looks like straight turds. I want to try these. Are they good? Because she just microwaves them. It's called brown and serve, and all she does is she doesn't brown them. They're already brown. I think you're supposed to brown them in like the oven or in a frying pan or something. She just like puts them in the microwave for a minute. Fish packets Monday night. Okay, here we go. Fish packets. What the hell are that? What is a fish packet? Oh, you just put fish and a bunch of shit in some tin foil and then you broil it, I guess. Okay. Josh doesn't like What's the difference? Fish tastes like fish. Change my mind. So this is How much is that? That would be thirty dollars here. Eleven dollars? Holy shit! If even if I went to Wegmans, which is the most expensive grocery store, that is looks like five pounds of chicken, almost six pounds of chicken. Is that what we're looking at? Yeah, almost six pounds of chicken. That would be honestly thirty dollars here. But at eleven dollars and forty four cents, even if I went to the U.S., I'd pay thirty percent more because that's what our dollar is shit on because we have this shitty dollar. I'd still pay way less, almost half. Why is your meat so cheap? Okay, thirteen bucks. That, that hurts my soul. Again, that would be 30 plus dollars here, $40. Maybe I we stopped buying chicken. 
just we just stopped because it's too expensive. Like two Are you sure that's five pounds? Okay. Okay. Oh so yeah, she's right. Five pounds. Get two of the five pounds chicken. You need ten pounds of chicken to feed your family. I need nine pounds of donuts for the kids for breakfast. Donuts for breakfast, everybody! Yay! Poor lobsters. You guys joining ya. Shut up. I'm sorry, I, I can't help myself talking to the lobsters. You talk to yourself at the grocery store. Don't apologize. You literally just talk to a camera for an hour at the grocery store. You're not, nobody's listening. Just talk to a camera, you weirdo. Okay. Oh man, I'm telling you, Wegmans probably makes good ass donuts. I'm also hungry right now. Maybe that's what's going on. Okay, so here's the thing. Those donuts are massive, right? You've got 14 people to feed donuts to. Get a dozen, cut them in fours, and everybody can have a little sampling of each donut. The other day, for Mother's Day, my wife was doing uh, was working in her shift, right? So I went over to this place called, I think it's called Lady Glaze, and they're like boutique donuts. When I say boutique, I mean six donuts was $28. That's what I mean. Okay. And they looked like they were worth it. I didn't have any. So I dropped them off for her and the nurse to share. And apparently they cut them up in like eight pieces each. And everybody was like, your husband's awesome. And I was like, sir, I know. Right. I want a Wegmans donut right now. That shit looks, and it probably just came out of the damn ovens and the fryers. She's there at 6 a.m. and it's just the fresh donuts. I bet. Oh, here we have a store called Zares, which I don't shop anymore because F anything President's Choice, I hate them. Okay? I'm forced to sometimes go to Shoppers Drug Mart because that's where the post office is, but that's it. I hate them. But when I wasn't boycotting Zares, they have donuts like that. And if you go at 8 o'clock in the morning, they are fresh and they will blow your mind. Okay, sex is great, but a fresh Zares donut, O-M-G Lilies. Better than a hot Krispy Kreme. I said what I said. Let's get 30 dozens. Where's the diabetes donut? Buttercream filled. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just hungry right now. Raspberry filled. That's oh awesome. my god, I want these donuts. And, there is a duck. and that and the thing that'd be, you know, fine if the kids need donuts 16 times a week, right? Once every two weeks for, for you know some awesomeness. That's great. Family's coming over this weekend. I'm going to get fresh donuts because that's what we do when family comes. It's just nice to have a, a bunch of donuts. I'm gonna go to Krispy Kreme though, because they're better. And just have some Krispy Kremes out there, have some fresh fruit, everybody just snacks. Whenever we go to family or family comes to ours, everybody just snacks. And I make really good food. So you'd like to come to my house. Then I'm gonna get two dozen. Of course you are. Because Every kid needs two donuts. You know, you have 12 donuts. You have 12 kids. Are you and Josh aren't going to eat a donut? You said Josh is eating healthy. You don't eat any food anyway. Why do they need two donuts each? Each of those donuts is like 300 calories. Oh my God. I'm telling you, you look good. Bread, donuts, bread, bread and bread. Sugar, cheats, chips, and sugar. Yay! Dependency on sugar! Great. The green grapes are looking awful for You're brown. If brown grapes was a person. Alicia. Oh, there they are! Okay, here's the thing. You don't need to go buy salt potatoes. All you have to do is buy young potatoes and put a shit ton of salt in the water. I mean, like, a cup of salt per five pounds of potatoes. That's it. Really easy. They're good, but you can get them anyway. You don't have to get them at Wegmans. But they were good, I'm not gonna lie. Here's the shit that we're gonna throw in the garbage that no one will eat. Cute for some disposable Mother's Day plates today. Disposable Mother's Day plates. So classy. Happy Mother's Day to me. Thanks for making me rich. For telling your stories and exploiting you guys. Yeah, me. And these ripped jeans. And these are 
these are cute. Shut up. These are not cute. These are ugly. What a waste of money. Do you need this right now? What for? It's Mother's Day, so you're going to buy more shit you're going to throw in the garbage. Just stop. Yeah. Oh, here, frozen. I love frozen shit when she goes there. No, it's not on my list, but I got to get frozen pizzas because... Because why? Was, I don't even know what day it was. No, you don't need to get frozen pizza. You got the fresh shit or you order it. Last weekend, baby, I was doing a bunch of frozen pizzas. It's probably for a snack. So we got to restock them. So I used them all. Like for one lunch for 12 kids, I will make all six of these pizzas. You make six pizzas for 12 people. Six pizzas. How many slices? That's like a large pizza. You make six of those for 12? Holy shit. Everybody gets a half a pizza themselves? I think I did the math on that, right? Let's just check this list. Maybe not this. Shred us. Because, you know, I'll like walk out of here and realize I forgot something. No, you don't forget anything. You actually add so much shit that you don't need. Could, but you make them in the oven. You don't even have an air fryer, amateur. There's like, a, like wiped out their freezer section. Huh? But because they wait till you leave, then they restock it because you take everything. What is that? Those tots? What is that? Couldn't see it because you're filming with a potato. Oh, chicken tenders. Okay. All that corn's gonna end up right, <laughs> right in their septic tank. The septic tank can't handle the corn. I forgot to look for white You know what? I'll do that another day. Oh yeah, because you're not gonna eat it. You're at the store. I wanted to get some ice cream. I'm sure you did. Here we go. This is a huge hit in the house. Let's get more of that. What is? I love it. She buys lactose-free uh, ice cream, but nothing else is lactose-free. The cheese, they eat everything. I know she gets. I know she gets some milks, but everything else, like the chocolate and cheese and all the other things, none of it else is. She cares about lactose except for the ice cream. It's because that's probably all they eat. You just put a cookies and cream in there, didn't you? How much ice cream do you need for one week? Oh, there's just the vanilla. I was looking for vanilla, but in the meantime, I grabbed five other flavors. We know. We saw. You're bad. Wait, that but one? eight tubs of ice cream for a week. No more ice cream. Tushpa! Get out of there! Looks good, though. You don't need any more treats. Perhaps snacks they like. You notice that the things she stocks up on every single week is the stuff that notice the things that she buys every week is because she has to buy it every week because that's the shit that is gone and it's always the most processed garbage she buys it's always the treats it's always the chips it's the chocolate it's the ice cream it's the ice cream bars that she gets every single week these kids consume all of that in a week all of it these kids are and i don't think any of these kids are a healthy weight not i'm maybe one or two of them i think a couple of them might still be a healthy weight but most of them are not a healthy weight anymore 
and since they've come with her to where they are now, and that's not, I'm not saying that to be like, oh, they're fat. I'm telling you, as a dad who was who grew up fat and everything else, it is really dangerous and really bad for your children to be obese. Okay, and those kids came to her at a certain weight, and now are some of them are severely overweight from their diet, and she doesn't care. She does not give a shit. Just keeps feeding them the poison. Oh my God. Your thumb! Stop! Just crazy. Holy kids were wanting more of these. I'm sure they were. Oh, hey, back. You got so much ice cream and shit in there. You don't need more. Unbelievable. This it, it never. I I ne <laughs> I cover this so many times, and it, to this day, I'm still. Sometimes I'm surprised. I'm like, how do you not see this to your channel? How do the people that give her children and monitor her not say like, what are you feeding your kids? It's absolute trash. Is this this is this has got to be acceptable? Otherwise, why would she do it? Why don't you get them like all natural ice creams and all natural popsicles with like no sugar or just real fruit? Why can't you get, you can afford all the great stuff that's delicious that isn't full of shit. Why doesn't she do any of that? Try it for 30 days. Our family's going to eat healthy for 30 days and some of those snacks, we're going to replace these super processed, disgusting sugar snacks with these more healthy options. You don't have to eliminate all that shit, just replace with healthy options. For the next 30 days after uh, starting in June, I'm doing a detox and it's going to be bananas. I'm going to talk to you guys all about it, but I got to detox my body. It's been a rough winter, been eating shit and all this stuff. And I'm going to literally cut out all processed sugar from my diet, completely processed. And I'm going to go with hearty grains and everything else I'm going to do for 30 days. I'm going to show you what you can do when you, when you go hard, all they needed, maybe they just need to detox from the shit. Because when they travel and everything else, it's it's 10 times worse. And then when they're home, it's bad. But none of these kids get a full detox in their systems. None. Oh, my God. The shit that she buys. Holy shit. I'm guessing 2300 bucks. She, I don't know how much meat she got. So maybe like 1800 Here's another thing. She does this on purpose because it gets her views, right? But why doesn't she just like, she doesn't do anything else. Why not just shop throughout the week? So what do you need for the day? Go get that thing. So you don't have to spend $2,000 one time and get 15 carts of groceries. Go get one cart. Here's what we're doing today. I'm going to go in the morning because she can make a video out of it, right? Today we're making this, this, and this, and I'm going to go get those things, right? That's it. But she doesn't. Holy shit, the snacks. Right, back there, you can see them. One, two, three, four. I'm going to drive up, load everything in. It is 7.55. Thumb. Oh, the thumb. I was cold on my way here. I had the heat on. Thanks for the story. Tips. We don't... Who gives a shit? Great story. Can you say it? Can you tell us another one? Heat on in the morning, air conditioner on at night. That's how it goes in New York. Shut up. Butthole. All right. Eight o'clock. So how much did you spend? Ash is doing it. It's <laughs> Mother's Day. No, he's not. It's Mother's Day and you are they couldn't help you? Not carrying any groceries. No, I will. That was really awkward and cringy. Those donuts, man. Okay, so we're loaded in. It's like we know you're loaded. All in the back seats, on the floor, every crevice of this 15. Ew, those seats are just full of shit. It's in your van. Go home. Unload. Get at least the perishable stuff put away. Get to baseball. You're a perishable. If you don't stop drinking. My mom and dad are coming over for lunch. We know they are. You already said all this shit. I need more coffee. No, you don't. That's like a liter. You don't need more than that. That's good for the day. Now it's water time. Okay? You. Dr that's what you get. That's your allotment. Now it's it's water. Okay? That's just not good with Adderall, by the way. 
Your heart's gonna fail soon. It's gonna stop. I'm so bummed. Nana and Alma's Mother's Day Nana, son of a bitch. are not here. Well, let me tell you why they're not here, Alicia, because you save everything for last minute! Everything is last minute for you! I didn't realize when I ordered them that they were coming all the way from China. Oh, more Chinese shit. Thanks, Alicia. So I ordered them a little bit ago, but yeah, they're not here yet. They've made Imagine it to these, like, you just sit there and talk to a camera like this. Just, you guys gotta see this, like, take, take yourself away from the video a sec, and just look from the outside. She just sits there with the camera and talks to it all day long. That's what she does all day. Right now I do all of my editing, all of my videos, all of my pictures, all of my editing. Oh on. My God. What? No wonder it's shitty. That's why she put the black bar. What was the black bar? And that's what I've done for how long have we been doing this? That's how you edit? Oh my gosh, it makes way more sense now. You idiot like Instagram account but it was just for close family and friends that's where it should all stayed you've now cursed your family YouTube in 2022 anyways no you didn't such a liar three here I am still doing everything on my phone because Josh got me a fancy camera for my birthday like we know and you don't use it October which we quickly realized a fancy camera only works if you have a fancy computer. You don't need a fancy computer. James probably has five laptops you bought him. You could probably take one of those. To sync it up to. Does that mean sync it up? You sync it up? Do you? Holy shit, you don't know what you're doing, do you, Alicia? Holy shit! That's what makes me mad about this. There are people out there that create amazing content that spend hours on editing and learning how to do all this shit and whatever and using great cameras and sound. She's been making bank off a damn phone. Yep. Yep, and they have that. So. Are you driving down a mountain? I normally am like, I don't need anything. Don't get me anything. But I was like, honey, I know I normally don't ask for anything. I don't really need a computer. So go buy yourself a damn computer. You're the one who makes all the money. Go buy yourself a computer. So that I can use my fancy phone or camera that's been sitting here since October. You're not going to use it. She's not going to change. I'll probably have to, like, take some classes. I have no idea what I'm doing, technologically speaking. I'll have to figure out desktop editing and, I don't know. Da Vinci, it's free. We'll see. Otherwise, we'll just keep doing everything on my phone. Well, you're going to keep doing everything. You're, let's, let's be real. It works. No, it doesn't, dumbass. I'm not a bells and whistle vlogging channel. You're a sh well, that's the understatement of the century. Okay, there's no bells nor whistles. It's like snails and dog shit. I'm just a shit ass. I'm doing vlogging channel. <laughs> Shut up. You gonna talk the whole way home? Be something to try out and figure out this summer. Good luck. You don't have time. You don't have time. So now you're going to learn a new platform, how to edit. You know how long it takes to edit? First of all, it takes a long time. You're going <laughs> to... So already we know she spends all of her time online filming and editing, and then she spends her time online, you know, going to read the hate threads and everything else about her and everything. She spends so much. She's chronically online. Now she's going to try to do something she doesn't know how to do, and she thinks she has time for that? Good luck. My brain cells. You don't need brain cells. Don't lie. Now move this laundry first. So does go in the bathroom. Look at the laundry just sit in the garage getting bugs in it. That's great. Yep. Yeah, so does go on this back shelf. You have four, tw you have 12 kids. None of them can come help except for the little one? Cool. Here. I would be like, kick the door like, all right, everybody, groceries. That's what would happen. And they would mobilize. Sorry. Maybe leave your shoes on. Now you're gonna traipse dirt all through the house and then you drop fries on that dirt. Their kids have dirt bikes? That seems real safe since they don't watch their kids at all. Holy shit, man. Just enough to fill your belly. Yeah. Is that just enough to fill your belly? That's just enough to fill my belly. It's just enough to fill a giant Andre the Giant's belly. 
That's too much shit for your kids. Do better, Alicia. No one's gonna touch the fruit. They're gonna eat the donuts because the donuts are delicious. Oh, there's a receipt. What did I say? Oh, I was way off. 1182. That's so much for a week of groceries. One day there's gonna be a video. We were robbed and they stole our groceries. That's what's gonna happen. People will be like, we got off with 20 grand worth of groceries, man. The eggs alone are worth five. I just wanna say this Josh is like a beacon of fashion, he's an icon, like better than ye. Josh just knows. He's got, like, it down. He's got his, like, pfft. It's just, man, you, your drip is fly, Josh. Yeah, it's full of rotten shit and dead people. Pretty sure one of the rabbits was killed and we threw it in there. You're a go-gurt. You may now play. Yes. those pants. <laughs> just saying. No go. Holy shit. Pizza. All ice Ooh, cream. Ice cream all. Look at that! Holy moly! Call the police and the FBI. Get the DOJ down here. Whoever else. Where's Nancy Pelosi? Get her over here. Get these people in jail. Look at how much shit they feed their kids. Oh my god! Thank you. Thanks for doing one thing, dickhole. Why don't you go shopping, dude? It's Mother's Day. And then... You know my love language. This one, What's her love... Your love language is cleaning the freezer out? Organizing or? freezers. This one is veg, frozen vegetables and... <laughs> All the shit in their garage and they have this much vegetables. <laughs> oh, nice. And most of it's bread. Thanks. Yep. Thanks. Thank you for coming grocery shopping with me. You, you are flush, full of wrinkles. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are loved. Your neck is weird. You belong. And, and your face is red. What happened? Did you fall in a pile of spaghetti sauce? I am so proud of you. What, I'll are see you next okay? Time. Good lord, that was bad. She doesn't get any better. She has been doing this for like three years, shopping, right? I think one of the biggest ones was like a year and a half ago. She really started doing this. She's been shopping for a year and a half. And this is every single week these kids consume this same bullshit. Every single week for over a year and a half. And you wonder why some of her kids look like they look. They look super unhealthy. Their hair doesn't look healthy. Their bodies are not healthy. None of them ever eat anything healthy ever. She needs to detox these children and they need to change the way that she does this. I know she doesn't want her kids to have like food aversions and all the stuff and doesn't want them to be food insecure. And I get that. But you can also be like, you don't have to be food insecure. We have healthy options. And you can eat as much as that you want. It's crackers. There's some healthy shit here. It's fruit everywhere. Eat as much as you want. But she uses an excuse to be like, okay, well, I don't want them to feel like they do, so I need to feed them absolute and utter garbage. Alicia f force feeds her kids bullshit because it's all they have. That is a form, and I don't care what anybody says, a form of abuse. I know we feed our kids garbage. All of us do. But she feeds her kids more garbage than anything else I've ever seen. Okay, I'm, that, she eats like poor people eat. And I say that not to like throw poor people under the bus, but that's... That's the, that's the long and short of it. Poor people have to eat like that because it's cheaper. She doesn't have to feed her kids that stuff. She could literally hire a chef that feeds her kids amazing meals and snacks and everything else, but doesn't care. It's the easiest way out, and she admitted it today by saying, well, I don't want to change it. I'm filming with a phone. Why would I change anything? Because it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, the pathway of, it's the path of least resistance for her. How can I make the most money and do all this shit? So there you go. Take a deep breath. Ooh, Alicia, are you sure? Right? You're dumb. Look at those donuts, guys. They looked good, don't even lie. Right? So, thank you for being amazing. Thanks for taking care of your kids better than she does. Look, and I know if sometimes you gotta feed your kids macaroni and cheese and chicken nuggets, and I understand that stuff. I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus for that kind of stuff. I know kids are very picky, I get that. But a lot of her children are not, they're adult, like almost adults, okay? <laughs> And those are the kids that are suffering the most, in my opinion. So I'm just saying, if you, if you can't afford all this shit, I'm not trying to throw anybody on the bus because this is what I eat growing up to. I'm just saying, I know what it's like and I know the, the damage it did to my body for my whole life after that. She's setting these kids up for failure. I just want to let you guys know that you do what you got to do, you do your best. I'm not throwing shade at anybody, but I am throwing shade at her. But you guys are amazing, incredible, and valuable. You need to be here. You need People need you in their lives. And they might not say it, but they do. Someone's got a crush on you. Don't forget it, and I will see you tomorrow.